I find it impossible to walk and talk at the same time to a camera in a public place. It's just, it's just not me. I'm not wired that way. Hello, I'm Neil. This is the Tatwood Dad vlog, day 32. I was only gonna do this for one day. And then I thought, well, I'll keep it going for the week. And then I thought, okay, I'll round it off to the month. That's people coming. <laughs> good at walking and talking. I I can only do this if I'm staying in one place. So here are some things <laughs> that I've learnt from putting out a vlog every day for a month. First is, there's stuff that I don't want to share that I've probably inadvertently put out anyway. Number two, it's really difficult. Partly because you've got to pull the camera out all the time partly because you're not sure whether or not you should even be filming here. Then when you do turn the camera on, you don't know what to say. Well, you do know what to say, but it comes out all wrong. If I, if I do find something that I enjoy, I just want to be enjoying it. I don't want to get my camera out and be filming it. I just want to be enjoying the thing. I'd say for probably for about every minute you see on YouTube, it probably takes about an hour. I'm not sure these are very useful, are they? Should I keep going? So that, is this mic on? Yeah. So that was all the joy that we found in our spending today. All I can tell you is my entire body is screaming, stop doing this. And the only way I can record this vlog daily at the moment is to completely separate the recording of it from the editing of it. So I shoot the things that bring us joy and then I come around to editing it about two weeks later and, and then I upload it to YouTube two weeks after that. So you're, what you're seeing now happened ages ago. I can only do it that way because it's the only chance I've got for me to dance around the resistance that's screaming, stop it, stop making this vlog. After a month, I'm now thinking, why am I doing this? I'm just um, slightly worn down by all of the anger and outrage and finger pointing and blame online. I think the reason I want to do this is to slightly disrupt that if I can. The big joke is that we all know we're going to die and yet we spend our time just looking for the anger and the outrage and the finger pointing and the blame. And, and it's entirely natural, I think, that the human brain's wired for that because it's so much easier, comforting even, to look at the anger and the outrage and the finger pointing and blame instead of making things and helping people. So I've been making these and it's been helping me <laughs> and I hope it helps you too. So thank you, thank you for helping me do this. And I guess what I've learned after a month is now go find your joy. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I'm just doing a little um, uh, yeah. ending to the video. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks. Bye.